Hello everyone and welcome to your second royal reading today here at Madwell Tarot. It's a Thursday. Uh, is it a Thursday? Yeah, I just had to quickly do a fact check. It's a Thursday as you know who've watched this channel for a while. I'm not very good with <laughs> time and space but uh, tarot I know and I have the uh, after tarot on the tarot table today. It's the break up and make up tarot deck and we hear rumors and rumors on reddit and um on saint megan markle second hand coke who has come out with lots of stories um second hand coke saying that there is a legal inquiry about custody going on that divorce is on its way and that there is a legal inquiry about custody of archie and lilibet and um, lady c is also talking about this um, saying that King Charles has actually gone to Parliament. I expect the House of Lords and he has consulted Parliament about custody issues. Secondhand Coke says it's Harry that's filing and uh, the big thorn of con bone of contention is who gets the kids. Kids are dual citizens allegedly so have American and British citizenship. They are also in the line of succession. Never mind the legalities of that. We're not looking at that now, although maybe King Charles is discussing that with the House of Lords. And I know where I stand when it comes to the legality of their uh, place in the line of succession. I don't think they should be there. That's my personal opinion. And it is all just tarot for fun and entertainment. It's all personal opinion here and speculation and I read energy of course it's archetypal energy because the royal family is involved and there is a disclaimer in the box below uh, after tarot we're going to do uh, a, I have a very specific reading that I have designed for this we're going to ask if there is divorce imminently and who is filing we're going to ask if there is a custody dispute and whether King Charles is involved we're going to ask how Harry and Meghan individually feel about custody. Maybe Meghan is willing to be paid to step back and hand over custody to Harry slash the royal family outcome. Are we going to hear about divorce in the next six months or even tomorrow? Of course, the Trudeaus have announced their divorce. And there has been a rumor going around that there are two big divorces, the royal adjacent divorces coming down the pike. And so one has landed is the next one going to land in the next six months and who will get the kids if it does i have uh at the beginning of this year got consistent messaging that the divorce would happen by the end of this year or we would know about it then my timeline shifted and uh, it's interesting to me we're still getting pr pumped out about megan's going to be there at the invictus games in september so um if they're going to suddenly announce a divorce uh, between now and September and uh, how's that going to work but so as I say my timeline shifted and it's suddenly stretched out but this is all subject to change subject to maybe someone meeting someone else or just getting fed up or maybe King Charles having had enough something changing so we're going to see see what the after terror wants to tell us these cards even though I'm shuffling and shuffling there we go thank you very much are still not jumping as much as I like them to jump. But they say, all right, leave us alone. Get on with the reading. So we'll do that and see what happens, how things are playing out right now. It's an interesting story, interesting rumor, interesting speculation. So of course, we look at it here with tarot and um, see what's the universe wants to tell us about things between the way things are between Harry and Meghan and those poor children and uh, I assume for the purposes of these readings that there are actually two children we've got the four of cups as the underlying energy of this reading that is a rejection card not interested apathetic lost my uh, interest in something uh, given up, pouring the cup of love out, bored with it, failed, can't see the point, a uh, little bit depressed, uh, bleak kind of energy. It's not terrible woe, it's more like, eh, well, 
it's that sort of meh energy. Uh, so that's what's sitting under this reading and we're talking about divorce and custody here in this reading of course. And um, so let's see the overall situation. What does the universe want to tell us? Oh, we've got someone who makes it to do wants to come back in from the cold. Five of pentacles in reverse. Someone was let out. Someone now wants back in. I wonder who that someone could be. Uh, that's someone who's uh, doing his trip to Singapore and Japan. And uh, maybe it's feel the call, the call of Balmoral and Windsor Castle and all Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace and all that. But we've got the Megxit situation there with the Five of Pentacles. They left. They uh, didn't make their fortunes. Five of Pentacles in reverse can be total calamity when it comes to money, regretting their exile, their poverty, the mistake, their illness, because Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles is an illness card as well. Um, and we have talked about mental illness quite often here on this channel and generally in the royal um, ecosystem, the little world we all inhabit, alleged mental illness. Um, so Five of Pentacles, the desire to come back in from the cold or absolute exclusion from and there is uh, um, messaging that's being put out pumped out by Madame's PR that she's going to keep her title and still be a member of the royal family no matter what um, so there there is a whole lot in that card for him and for her uh, about coming back in and being permanently barred and uh, you, I don't need to tell you which is which um, so is divorce imminent uh, what is going on on the divorce front well, we've got judgment. Somebody's had a big wake-up call. Judgment is uh, an awakening, uh, um, a sudden revelation. It's also coming to your senses with the awakening card. We've seen hints of it in readings. Um, that would be Harry coming to his senses. It's also legal matters, judgment, of course, someone making a decision, a legally binding decision. So that, that's a loud yes for me, that there are uh, rumblings behind the scenes about this. Not a surprise, I've seen it over and over. The only surprise for me will be if it suddenly gets fast-tracked into the next six months instead of pushed back. Um, but I get the sense that things are suddenly hurtling along again. So let's see what's going on. Who? Who is the one who's filing? Who is the one? It's the Page of Pentacles. Has been. There he is. He's kind of shrunk down now uh, to a little person. Am I allowed to say that? Uh, the Page of Pentacles is Earth sign. Of course, that's so Harry. Harry uh, in quite a junior um, role that he's been reduced to junior status. Obviously had to go cap in hand to the royal family and say, help, I made a terrible mistake. Now you need to get rid of this dreadful woman. Um, I need to pull that cup out and pretend this never happened. Make it so. Uh, make it, uh, make magic happen for me. And uh, Page of Pentacles is also communications about money, contracts, deeds, settlements, all those lovely things that happen when couples divorce. So yeah, it's Harry and Harry looks like he's had an epiphany and uh, realized the error of his ways. So is there a custody dispute going on behind the scenes right now? And could that be why we can't go to Balmoral with our children? Page of Swords, uh, that is um, disputing. The Page of Swords is somebody who's been very strategic, doing a lot of research, um, uh, maybe lawyers, checking, um, looking for cases, looking for um, information, documents, research, that kind of legal research. Um, it's, it's not fighting as such, but it's getting ready for a fight, the Page of Swords. You can see that sword is up, this page is braced, and there are people approaching. The people may or may not be friendly in the distance. It has the idea of... Um, negotiations conversations it's not such a friendly card and negotiations is more friendly that's not really negotiations it's more uh, letters back and forth legal letters going back and forth uh, but this this um, legal um, point is in our favor but no uh, that one isn't in our favor it's that kind of energy that I'm getting um, I'm getting lots of people in those little black um, 
cloaky things that lawyers wear. Busy, busy, busy. Junior people. I'm not getting big, important lawyers. I'm like that guy with the big hair. He's not a big, important lawyer, but he's got big hair. He thinks he's a big, important lawyer. But I'm getting more kind of minions doing research and gathering documents and even doing a bit of snooping and spying on social media and stuff like that. Gathering uh, information to use for or against their client. Uh, so that's that. How about King Charles? Is King Charles um, going to the House of Lords and saying, help, uh, give me a legal legal opinion about what's, uh, what's going on with custody with his children who are allegedly my grandchildren and may or may not belong in the line of succession? In my opinion, King Charles has reached a difficult decision. Two of swords. It's two of swords in reverse. Upright delay, don't want to make that decision, reach a turning point, don't know what to do. Uh, it Very much the Two of Swords is somebody who needs advice and maybe is delaying asking for it when the card is upright. But when the card flips over into the reverse, it's well, okay. Uh, the time has come. This is difficult. This is painful. I never wanted to do this. Uh, my dear boy is now going to get divorced and it's all going to explode because it is going to explode unless they hush it up very quick, uh, quickly and cleverly. Uh, and I dread this moment, but now I have to face it. We know he doesn't like to face things, allegedly. But here I am. I've come to you for help, for advice. Show me what to do. Tell me what to do. How about has been and Megan... Uh, how they f they feel about custody. Do they really want those children? Uh, does Harry really want those children? Does Meghan really want those children? Their real feelings about it. Uh, or whether, as I say with Meghan, she can be bought off. Ace of Wands in reverse. There is That's a no energy. There is something in here, because it's quite um, uh, an explicit card, the Ace of Wands is very virile, shall we just say, stepping around the machine that senses us here on YouTube more and more. Um, but uh, there is something in that no, in that um, rather wilted wand that tells me that there might be an issue for him about these children, that uh, about parentage. I'm putting it there. Uh, that there is something about this that this is terribly disappointing, um, almost humiliating with that Ace of Wands in reverse. A loss of power, a loss of virility, um, a loss of passion. Uh, if the card was upright, it would be absolutely, absolutely, he wants them. He wants to travel with them. He wants to be in their lives every day. He wants to mold them and and um, have adventures with them and joy with them, but it's in reverse. That is not a good energy when you're talking about who gets uh, the day-to-day -day care of those children. Um, how about her? Uh, uh, so it's upsetting for me. Um, sometimes these readings get upsetting uh, when there are children involved and parents who shouldn't have children. It's the Eight of Cups um, are walking away. She'd leave. She'd walk away. And again, you know, there there is the uh, the question of who is the mother because this is a woman looking at this mess that she has made. Who is the real mother? who has maternal feelings for these children, never mind who uh, might have donated their um, DNA uh, or carried the children. Uh, there's someone walking away there in the distance. That would be him, has been. Uh, she's left with a mess and she wants to leave the mess and leave herself. She wants to walk away from it. She doesn't want them. My opinion, and I have to say, for legal reasons, it is purely my opinion. I am speculating. I am doing a tarot reading for fun and entertainment. Uh, but yeah, that's a terrible card. These are both bad cards. Very bad cards. Um, so the outcome column here, are we going to hear in the next six months that Harry and Meghan are divorcing? Six months, not two years. Uh, we could well with the sun in reverse. There are two children in this card, uh, in the after tarot, uh, and they're in reverse. 
and that is depressing news, very sad news. Uh, it breaks our hearts, but of course it's the fault of the toxic media and the racist, racist British public and uh, the poisonous royal family that didn't give us the love and support we needed. And so we are consciously uncoupling. It's just too hard and uh, that's the end. Just a minor energy with the sun in reverse. The sun in reverse is a bit of a moon uh, aspect to it, so it could be hidden. Uh, the sun upright is illumination, a light shone on a situation. Uh, but when it's in reverse, darkness descends. And the darkness normally is in your mood uh, of bleakness, uh, woe, uh, feeling all the joy has gone out of your life. But it can also mean that uh, a curtain is drawn over something and something is obfuscated. So there is possibility that uh, it could be hidden. And that's, I, I see that consistently in my readings, but with the sun in reverse, I'm asking, are they going to get divorced in the next, next six months by the end of the year? Yeah, we're going to hear about it. Uh, it. It seems to have come galloping along back into uh, the frame for some reason. Uh, we might ask why, uh, but let's ask about the children, what's going to happen to them, because that's what really inspired this reading. It's really about their well-being, not anyone else. We've got an angel stepping in. Uh, temperance Sagittarius energy I can't off the top of my head think of who's a Sagittarius in this um, in this thing but we've got someone who's very angelic somebody who's um, uh, has their best interests at heart here uh, it could almost be welfare gets involved I have to say that with that temperance card um, but we were talking about, well, I was talking about uh, mediation with this page of swords and saying that nah, it doesn't really have that energy. Here it does. Temperance. It's okay. Let's sit down. Let's talk about this like reasonable human beings, rational human beings. Let's not argue. Temperance upright. Temperance is about temper and moderation, not screaming and shouting at someone. Let's balance things out. Let's let's sort it out in a harmonious way so it does from their point of view it does seem as if higher power um wise um caring individuals step in and sort this out it's not telling me who they're going to uh it's i'm, I'm not getting that information um from that card you might get that information yourselves uh but i personally am not seeing who here uh which is in itself quite interesting scratching my head going through royals as i'm as i'm looking at this doria is of course a virgo um yeah i think the only person that i vaguely suspect is, is a sagittarius and she wouldn't get them for sure given her health and everything else is samantha so it's got nothing to do with her but i'm just going through mentally checking them off and i'm sure i've left someone vital out of the equation but i don't think it's so much sagittarius energy as it is this angelic, let's do the right thing by these children. We've made a mess of everything ourselves, as these cards tell us, but let's, uh, let's sort this out uh, uh, properly for them. Let's just ask, what has happened that this is now suddenly seemingly back on the original timeline that I was seeing earlier this year? What has happened to speed this up as it seems to be going fast now? What has happened? And we've got the awakening, the judgment. So maybe you need to clarify that part, please. What has happened? What has uh, set this off again at high speed? Seemingly energetically it's going at high speed. If you like to tell us, otherwise we'll do a reading on it tomorrow. I need to wrap this one up. But if you want to share with us anything more about that judgment card, we're all ears. Uh, it could all be over. I always said while they're shouting, oh, something's popped out. Something has popped out. The hanged man has freed himself. The hanged man has, it's, it's, a, it's a duplicate energy of this judgment card. His eyes have opened, our hanged man. He's been stuck in limbo. He's been, um, uh, you, one could say, almost brainwashed. And a lot of people speculate about techniques that might have been used to um, really confuse him and uh, cloud his, his, his mental faculties uh, with drugs. It's a Neptune card and drink and all those things and other things. Um, NPL. Uh, in, in what's it NRP NLP sorry NLP got there eventually those kinds of things but it's in reverse it's like he's had a moment of clarity the hanged man as he's dangling there helplessly being punished and victimized uh, gains enlightenment you can see the halo around his head 
when he is cut down from that tree, he has a whole new view of things and he's ready to act. Has been, has had an epiphany, seemingly. It doesn't tell us why, uh, but it is interesting that here we have this woman tending to him in the after turret, not normal for the rider weight, the hanged man just hanging there by himself. A woman tending to him when the card is upright, when it's in reverse, that woman has gone. Maybe some insight that this woman has been feeding poison into his system. That is my opinion. And uh, perhaps there's been a friend or someone around that has uh, made him see the light of day finally, but it does look like he has. That's your reading. I wasn't expecting that on Megan's birthday, the eve of her birthday anyway, but there it is. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow.